Hello, my name is Owen McCarthy and welcome to my YouTube channel. The haircut that we're going to be doing today is a high skin fade crop and I'm going to explain the steps in achieving this look. Today I'll be explaining how to fade one side of this haircut. This will also work on the opposite side of the head and through the back. The techniques in which I'll be using are a mixture of ascending and descending, so working up and working down. This will allow me maximum control in creating my skin fade. My first step was removing any excess weight through the sides by using a number 2 guard. I've brought this right to the contour of the head, ensuring that I'm keeping a square shape and aligning it with the crop fringe. This will be the highest point of my clipper work. To gauge where I put my zero line, I usually use about two fingers depth to allow myself enough room to smoothly fade out this line. As you can see, I'm being very light with the clippers and creating the softest line possible, as this is the hardest line to fade out. Next I'm going to bring my foil shaver just below my zero line and get this right down to skin, leaving a few follicles below my zero line not to create any more lines. My next step is I'm going to use my 0.5 to skip out a level. What I'm looking for with every tailored haircut is the colour spread across the scalp and how it affects the overall look and shape. In this case I'm bringing the 0.5 quite high to align with the darkness of the cropped look. Once I've established the height of the 0.5 line, I'll then slowly close the lever on my clipper working down to the initial zero guideline. When I'm happy with this line being blended out, I'll then put on my number one guard. I'll open it and establish another guideline skipping out a level after the 0.5 to the 1.5. This will bring me right up to the point where I started my fade with the number two. Once I'm happy with the color spread here, I'll slowly close the lever on my clipper and work down until I reach the 0.5 guideline. This will leave me with some darkness and some patches, in which I'll then use my zero guard to refine. This brings me to the refinement stages of the fade, in which I'll use some scissor over comb to soften the transition between the top and sides and rework my way through the fade to pick out any dark spots I may see and try and achieve the smoothest finish possible. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Stay tuned for some more videos in the near future, thank you.